Hello everyone and welcome to Ubuntu Lost Videos. In this video I will be showing you a little bit about the system menu here. I have only 10 minutes to do this so let's go ahead and get this started. In here we have basically settings for your computer. The first is preferences which are simple uh, customizations such as shortcut keys, the look and feel of your computer and a few other things. Uh, administration, you need uh, an administrative password uh, and you have a, to know knowledge a little bit about computers to know what you're doing in here. For the most part I would not recommend you anything in here because for example the disk utility if you do the wrong thing uh, you can erase all your files on your computer so just be safe and don't play in here unless you know what you're doing for the preferences uh, let's go ahead and start about me is a simple little area where you can put in your information uh, such as uh, address email websites and stuff like this and your name and other and applications on your computer can use this information such as uh, open office can put in your name for a document and so on Appearance is just another way to get to the um, area, the appearance preferences and again backgrounds, fonts, visual effects and so on. Assistive technology is a simple way to make a uh, magnifying glass or the on-screen keyboard or the on-screen reader available to those that need it. Bluetooth is a configuration for your Bluetooth if you have one available. Broadcast preferences basically configure Twitter and other broadcast like programs. Elbus preferences is to enable characters such as Japanese, Chinese, Greek, and so on. Any character that is not uh, Latin based, you can uh, basically enable it through here. But I believe Greek is. I don't know. Anyway, keyboard uh, basically little preferences for your keyboard. You can make your mouse move by the keyboard and so on. Keyboard shortcuts. Uh, and here is a very good little thing to show you. You have a set of keyboard shortcuts already made for you, such as volume up, down, etc or launch media player and so on but on the very bottom you can make your own if you do add let's say I want to make Firefox available from a key the name is simply the name you want to give it it can be anything but the command has to be accurate to the command you would use in the terminal so you click on apply then you put in the shortcut you want to do and now when I press control F Firefox will come out and greet me so that's basically a little customization to get you uh, going faster with the computer shortcuts you know Next we have the main menu, and here is just a little way to customize the entries in your menu. For instance, we have Firefox web browser. If we go into internet, we click on this, and now we don't have Firefox anymore. And again, we can simply check on that again, and there it is. So you can kind of customize what menus or what applications are available to certain users, so you can kind of keep a little security on it. Next we have messaging and VoIP here is basically Twitter, or sorry not Twitter, uh, AIM, Yahoo, MSN and so on. Uh, it's basically configuring their accounts. Monitors is a good place to go. I'll give you a little example for instance. Right now I only have one monitor available, but once I plug in my external TV to my VGA. Okay, once it's plugged in, simply put in detect monitors and there it is, there's my external uh, basically screen. What I can do is I can uh, same image on all monitors, so basically the same image I see here on the other monitor, or I can extend it by just unchecking this and leaving it as it is. You can also show this in the menu here. You can do rotations, you can do different refresh rates and different uh, resolutions. Next we have the mouse, and here you can change a few things. One of the biggest things are of course the speed and drag and drop stuff, accessibility as well, but the biggest thing here is for the touchpad on a laptop, you can do uh, two finger scrolling, so you don't have to go on the very edge of your mouse to scroll, you can also disable it. But if you wanted to do it, just simply put in two fingers on your touchpad and you can scroll up and down. And of course you have horizontal scrolling available as well. Next we have network connections and here you can configure wired connections, wireless, mobile broadband, VPN, DSL. Next we have a network proxy and here we can basically do a manual proxy to connect to the internet. Uh, this is a simple tool for Java after you install Java. Personal file sharing, once you install the needed uh, application, which you can find, or I've already showed you how to do it in uh, the places video. Once you install it, you can simply click on here to share, share f public files on a network. You can put a password and so on uh, for a certain user or whatever. And you can also share from Bluetooth and receive files from Bluetooth.
Next we have power management, simple. Uh, different actions, put the screen or computer to sleep when inactive for a certain time. Laptop lid is closed, you can do certain things. On AC power, then on battery, and then in general. And if you have a notification area for the power applet here. <coughs> Preferred applications is a simple place to kind of go and make your preferred applications for web browser, mail, and so on if you want to change it up a little bit. Remote desktop is a way to connect to different people's uh, desktops and take control and help them out if you can. Uh, for the most part, you can do this simply by enable, enabling this, putting a password so it's secure. I wouldn't recommend leaving this on because it is a security breach for someone to go into your computer uh, if you're not paying attention but that's basically how you can do it from a, from a network so right now it's only reachable from the network local network and that's the IP address or this name so you can do this with the desktop viewer and the applications uh, internet remote desktop viewer screensaver simply configure your screensaver not that big of a deal sound do a little sound configurations microphone uh, different applications the same thing that you can find in this sound preferences area Startup applications, and here you can set up a customized uh, list of applications to start with the computer. It already has one made already, but you can do it your own. Uh, simply put in the name, then the command, and then a comment to kind of remind you what it is. And then we have Ubuntu One. Here is basically configuring your Ubuntu One uh, online storage. And Windows basically here is this. This pertains to this window right here, so we can do different things. Uh, roll up if you want to. When you double click on the thing, you can maximize it if it's available. And the Alt, the movement key here, the Alt basically states that when you click or hold Alt and then click somewhere on the window, you can move it around. So you don't have to click up here; you can click anywhere now, as long as you hold the Alt key. And you can change that to the Windows key. And that's it for preferences and administration. We have a few things. Computer janitor simply clean up your system. Uh, disk utility, basically to manage a few uh, partitions and drives and such on. Hardware drivers is very useful for those that are uh, having trouble with wireless and so on. Basically, if uh, you've installed Ubuntu on a new computer and something doesn't work, uh, most of the time it's a wireless, you can simply plug into the internet or connect with the cable, then update your computer with the update manager, and after that, do the hardware drivers to find any drivers available for your computer. Most, most of the time, maybe 199% of the time, there will be a driver available for your wireless, so it's a good thing to do that. After this, we have language support. Simply put, uh, different native languages on your system. Log file viewer, a simple debugging tool for uh, checking system log files. Login screen, uh, kind of a brief configuration for your screen. Network tools, a simple set of tools for networking. Uh, pinging, netstat, trace root ports, scan, lookup, finger, and who is. We have printing here, basically the ability to send or add printers or use as default for printers. And a few configurations here and there about drivers and so. Software sources, and here you can figure uh, what sources to install from online. You can add your own as well if you know how. Start up this creator. Uh, basically, you can create a USB stick that you can boot into Ubuntu. Uh, just basically put in the USB in, click on the device through this little menu here. You can even make your own. You can pick an ISO, you can do Linux Mint or any other Linux sort of uh, Deb Debian for us ISO. And you can kind of make a startup disk so you can uh, basically plug in the USB in any computer and you can use Ubuntu. Synaptic Package Manager in here is say, it's basically a uh, installation method just like the software center except it's a lot more difficult to use uh, for regular users it uh, has a lot more variety as well system monitor as simple as a task manager in windows simply we have processes you can kill or end processes resources uh, check your computer how, how it's working and file system how much space you have in different pieces of your computer Next we have system testing. This is a good thing to do if you've got your computer to kind of give Ubuntu an idea of what's working and what's not working. Simply go through the steps and it'll kind of uh, ask you, does this work or do this? Does it, did it do anything? You know, so it kind of understands uh, like the audio disk, fingerprints, so on. So that's basically what it does. It kind of helps the Ubuntu community out with devices. 
All right, running out of time. Next time, next we have time and dates. Simply configure time, time and date. Update manager. Clicking in here, you open up the update manager. It'll start up. It'll kind of give you an idea of. It'll, it'll update your computer. Simply put check and then put in your password. Then do install updates and there you go. Your whole computer is uh, updated with everything in it. And users and groups. One way to configure and mess around with different pieces uh, of your the users on your computer.